Hey, this is not a spring check. Yes. We're here out at the beach and you know, we plan on going out to the beach today to do Old Cabin. We are actually at the beach, above the beach, but apparently there's a wind blowing and it's a little bit too much on the chilly side. So we're going to do Old Cabin, of course, just looking out at the beach in this beautiful weather, which we'd love to be out there. Actually, you can, but you're going to have to wear more clothes than a, the whole, a bikini. The whole point is getting you in a bikini at the beach. Oh, yeah. So other than that, if I'm going to freeze and wear lots of clothes, I guess you don't need to see me like that, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Americans demand higher taxes, higher gas costs, and more using medical, which is why it's all of these I, I heard that study that people want to say that, that we're not taxed enough and that the unions, the unions, you are hurting the unions and uh, we need higher prices on gasoline because that will force people to uh, to change the way they live in life and that will make us, uh, that will cut the cost, cost on everything. I, I don't know how cost, charging more money will cut cost or anything, but this, you know, that supposedly legitimate polls are saying that. And Obama attends Easter service at the historic church. Oh yeah, he said that since he became president of the United States, his faith has never been stronger. Well, nobody knows what his faith is. He's a political opportunist, and they said that he basically he's cherry picking churches now in black neighborhoods to try to make try to get their vote because they really don't like the man at all. Oh, he didn't. I thought he was so much in the church before. He's no, he's been refusing to go to churches in Washington D.C. because he said it would be too much of a disruption. But now he's starting to go since he needs the church support. And basically, when he leaves, they all condemn him. So. Yeah, because he doesn't pick just one. They know. He just he basically. This looks like an opportunity. That's all it is. They said it's nothing. But the, the ministers. I mean, we did the Al Sharpton reach out. Al Sharpton condemned it, saying that uh, you want us to do something for you, but you're not willing to do a single thing for us. Mm. Jerry Brown figures on saving. Don't, don't gel. And he says, if I told you the correct figures, I would have gotten no support for the budget. I know, and I mean, this is what's loony. The Democrats think that, you know, that they can snow the people. But what happens is this is Democratic newspapers that are running his figures, and they figure not only didn't he uh, get the uh, concessions from the unions, he actually up what he's paying them by $200 million, which basically jump, it just throws his budget out of whack. Because he's counting on billions of dollars in savings from unions. That's not going to happen with the Democratic government, folks. And Colorado mall fire suspect is just free from prison. Well, yeah, there's nothing like a lacing a fire bug, and the first thing he does when he gets out is he sets fire to something. <laughs> yeah, he, I guess he's going right back to prison. Yeah. Maybe he did that because he wanted to go back to prison. Yes, I think so. Well, you know, it's, I don't know how long he's been there, but some of them, it's like they're so used to being in prison. Mm, no, it's just he shouldn't have been released. The guy, he was, uh, they, they pardoned him. You know, for you know, he got he, so they figured it. You know, cut his time short, and what happens is, he did exactly like most rapists and pedophiles. Just almost as soon as they get out, they go rape somebody again. So is that what they do? That's what they all do. That's why they try to keep them in jail as long as they can. But Democrats think, though, you have to remember, there was not a Democrat that was born that thought that a person in jail ever committed a crime. And it's Monday at home cell taking new records. I know, but by Wednesday they'll have downsized everything. They've hit a, a hit a, 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 a high for this time of the month for the last 20 years. Uh, when they said the, the inventory is at a 45-year low because no one is building. And if no one is building, how is it that all these people keep saying that the construction is up? Oh, Somalia men, world abandoned us. Piracy root causes not address. Well, no. The problem is, is nobody is that wants. Somali minister. That's the Somali minister said that the United States and all these countries are responsible for their, their piracy business. I'm, I, I, I said it before. I'll say it again. You cannot board a 600-foot boat that is the size of two football fields in length, and is uh, it is 60 foot up in the air unless somebody on board the ship, you know, puts a ladder over for you to do it. It can't be done. A New York case underscores Wi-Fi privacy dangers. Oh, yeah, because somebody, what happened was um, uh, a guy, uh, his, his Wi-Fi system was being used by somebody else in the neighborhood. He was down by the
they they basically busted up his house, be, you know, beat him up, mistreated him and his family, and then after days they discovered that well he was exactly what he was saying, but they uh, well they're sorry, but they said that he should have known better. Why should he have known better? Because people grab what people system. People grab the system. You don't always know he's on your Wi-Fi. That's right. And passwords are only as good as the guy that can break them. So. The, so did they ever catch the other? Oh guy? yeah, they they caught him several days later. You know, downloading more kitty porn. So, but they, uh, the, you know, the, first of all, um, they had it was just you know. They just assume that everybody is guilty. No, our Constitution says you're innocent until proven guilty. You don't bust into a home, bust up a house, push everybody around, threaten them, and then days later apologize because they got a law, immunity law from being prosecuted. Well, that's why Los Angeles every year spends about a hundred million dollars a year, be, you know, payoffs to people that can't prosecute them. Well, it sure sounds like somebody's got a case now, doesn't it? Yeah. After the first day of school, daughter didn't follow the grave. I know, and that's something. You know, they, they, they took the school outing to the graves where all the, where the people are being dumped in because uh, there's just too many people in Japan to bury, so they're just dumping them all in the bus. Oh, yeah. mass burials? Yeah, mass crematoriums again. New York Stock Exchange sees higher savings in Deutsche Bank still. Well, they said their charter prevents them from laying off of people, and the, you know what I've heard this morning saying, how can the charter prevent it? Because what happened was five years ago they laid off 50 percent of the brokers on the floor when they went to an electronic system, and the uh, Europeans use only electronic trading; they don't have people on the floor. And so they said that in reality, Chuck Schumer doesn't know what he's being sold a bill of goods on because they'll be they'll have no one left working. The New York Stock Exchange becomes nothing but a wall of computers if the European Stock Exchange gets their hands on it. Surprise warning on U.S. debt comes as Washington inches away from gridlock. Uh, I haven't seen them inch away from anything. They've become more divided. Obama is basically attacking anyone that doesn't want to raise taxes, saying that they're going to, your grandparents are going to be eating dog food, uh, at the same time that he uses the same $500 billion in savings for the fourth time for Medicare and Medicaid. Gold hits record highs on the dollar. Yeah, and they, they, they basically they want to keep driving the dollar down until, uh, until it's worth nothing, and then Obama and then Bernanke will, and Geithner will be sharing. I don't understand that bit. Why? Uh, you should be able to, so, because she doesn't have a home, therefore she couldn't, you know, uh, there's nothing in the books, I think, that says you have to have a home to enroll a kid in school. So why was she being prosecuted? Because she doesn't have a home. Yeah, but sometimes people stay with relatives. Uh, I know, but she doesn't have a home. Because she doesn't have a home. The rules are you can't put the kid in the school without a home ad a real home address for her. And since she doesn't have a home, it was illegal to put the kid in school. Oh, well, it's geez. illegal not to put the kid yeah, in school. Yeah, I was going to say it's illegal not to. I know. So, she was obeying so. the law because she obeyed the law. They jailed her for it. Oh, Yeah, brilliant. Isn't it? The Democrats got it down. The U.S. Supreme Court is being asked in argument today to let federal courts hear cases attempting to set global warming, warming emissions policy. Well, well, the, the basically Congress is telling, okay, what happened is Obama is unhappy because what has happened is is that the states like California and New York have decided to bypass the Environmental Protection Agency and shut down virtually every business that they want to shut down, destroying the economy because we must say, like the environmentalists will tell you, the only thing wrong with the planet is there's too many humans. So their idea is to simply shut down all the businesses and drive the humans out of state. And Obama can't have that during an election year. So he's actually supporting the uh, supporting the case to make say that the state cannot individually set their global warming standards. Yeah. And Jerry Brown urges GOP legislators to join him in raising taxes on businesses in California. Well, he put forth a poll from, I love this, the Los Angeles Times, which is liberal, and and the U, a USC uh, newspaper, which is liberal, saying the people of the state of California are demanding that taxes, that the burden of taxes be put upon all businesses and stuff, 
and that uh, therefore the business will be bearing the, will be called paying the taxes, not the people. Well, no, they said that if they're not, you're not going to hire people, and you're going to raise the cost on merchandise, so people get hit by the uh, brown tax. So, House GOP takes on defense of marriage. Well, yeah, because basically Obama basically wants to throw, you know, he's passed the Constitution, Obama's refusing to support, he's refusing, the, the Attorney General of the United States is supposed to vote by law, support law, you know, support things passed by Congress. He decided to pass by law, support it, and that is going to stand against the laws of marriage. He basically says that the marriage is between a man and a woman, which is historical, so. And Obama gets to actually. I know, I mean, he's getting more and more, he's losing his temper more and more. They said the guy has a really vicious temper. He shows it all the time. If you're afraid if you tell the truth, people won't listen to you, then you must be a politician.